Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we have actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. We actually started this channel so that we can reach more people and help them use their accounting systems more effectively. So for us, if you can actually help us, we would greatly appreciate if you can subscribe and like to our YouTube channel so that YouTube will actually show our guides to people organically. Okay, so in this video, we are going to look into how we actually can customize the invoice entry screen. So in our 20 years experience, a lot of users get scared or afraid when they see a screen full of different fields and they are not sure which field should they use. There at times also, they will require specific fields to actually help them to get information for their management purposes. So example, like if it's a mechanic, they might need things like your car number plate or they may need things like your car brand or car, car model as well. All right. So today, let me show you how easy it is to customize your invoice screen inside AutoCount. So in your right now, we are actually in your invoice screen. There's actually two sections that we actually can customize. The first section is actually the header section and the second section is actually the detail section. And in this video, we are actually going to focus on the header section. Okay, so now we have things like your debtor, your name, your address. Of course, we have your invoice, date, branch, location, and ship via information. So in this example, let's say I do not want my shipping information. So all I just need to do is I come to a blank space here. I right click. Okay, I press customize layout. And I say I don't want the ship information. I can click, I can drag, I can throw it away. Ship info, I don't want. I click, I drag, I throw it away. Maybe sales location is also not important. Maybe I click and drop it away. Okay. So now maybe also say multi pricing is not important. I can click and drop it away. And let's say for example, now my credit terms, I want to push it right up here. So I can put it up here. And my agent here, I can drop and I can push it so that it matches accordingly to the rest of my fields here. You see? So we actually make it very consistent. Okay, so let's say for example, now we want to add certain fields just for my industry. I can actually can come down here and I can select from the drop down list any fields here. So let's say example, maybe I want something like remark one. So I can actually click here and I can put in here. Okay, say example here, remark one. And maybe I want say a reference document number. I want to actually put it here. So I can click it and drop it here. Okay, so you see it's all sorted out. So we can also things do like, okay, I want it a bit longer because I might need more space to key in the information. So, okay, I want it to be all consistent. So I can just click it here. All right. So let's say, for example, now things like uh, remark one and reference document number is a standard field. But of course, if how can we make this more industry specific or business specific? So all we just need to do is right click here. We press the customize layout again. Okay. So now let's say example, remark one, I want to change it to say for example, our example just now was a mechanic. We want to know your car number plate. So we can just right click here. We can actually press rename. Okay. Car plate number. Okay. And maybe here the document number, I want to change it to say example, rename this to say example, purchase order number. Okay. So we actually can put something like that. So once we're done, you see, it's now all based on the industry or in various company requirements. Okay, so once we've done this, of course, if I press cancel or I create your transaction, if I come back to this screen, it will always reset back to my default layout. So it's important for you to actually save this layout or not, you have to redo this every single time. So to save this layout, we just right click here, save layout, okay. And then we put a name here. This is called sales invoice layout. Okay. If you want to set this as a default, means every user will have this layout. If not, then we just can untick here and we can press OK. So only you can, then after that, you can choose which user wants to have this layout. Okay. So now we already save this layout and we want to go and assign this layout to a specific user. All we just do is we can right click again here. Here we have one called layout manager. And we want to assign this layout to a specific user. So we come here, assign layout, and we can say this is for administrator only. So we can select here, and I said this guy has the sales invoice layout. Once done, we must press save, and then we press close. So every time I open up 
this layout will appear for only admin ah. so if other users log in they'll see the default screen okay let's say for example as you were customizing this thing then you realize it got mistake all right so if you want to correct that mistake all we just need to do is we can choose to reset the layout i can right click here again we press reset layout and the layout goes back to the original layout all right so this is just a few things that you can do to customize your invoice screen or your other entry screens okay this can be uh, applicable to things like your purchase order your quotation your deals okay so that it can fit your business requirements we hope that you can leave a comment below if there's a specific topic you would like us to cover in the future thanks